adventures this is Jerry from adventures Jerry Lynn today I want to see if I can start a fire with all the items that I collected last week and over the past few months let's let's see what we can do what I'm using is my old uh, barbecue pit and remember when I collected these, uh, I put uh, Vaseline on these cotton balls. We'll start off with three. Then remember I had my I had collected paper towel and toilet tissue, so let's add that. It's pretty windy out today. So hopefully this being low enough, it will catch fire. It's been raining and off and on snowing recently, so I don't know if this would have burned, but we'll give it a chance. You know what? I just so happen to bring a beverage. <laughs> and um, I know it's not break time because I just started, but why not? We're two minutes in. Cheers. Salute. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's real good. Okay. Now, this is a fire starter. I have never used this. Again, I want to know if I can even survive whether Robert's around or not. So we'll we'll see. See him in the screen? Let's see. Maybe I should take this off. down a little deeper. Hmm. <laughs> you know what? I'm not doing so good. Let's see. Because it's too windy. But that is not going to work. I'm going to go get my matches. Hang on just a second. All right. I got some matches. And I know it's windy, but, you know, if this was real life, I need to know if I can start a fire. Because um, this is kind of important.
you know, I didn't want to, but I think I'm going to have to use the rest of that Vaseline with the, um, cotton ball. paper to fly away. So we'll try that. Well, I don't know what to say about this. I guess I have to uh, do a dry run. Hope you're having a beer with me. We'll see how this goes. No. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. But I took a tide Thing and I put fire starter for camping and I had been stuffing this with also toilet tissue cardboard what have you now something that I have to plan for what happens if I'm in a no burn zone you know, some places don't have, well, don't allow you to have an open fire. So then what do you do then, I wonder? So I saw some of these places, well, not places, I saw some of these videos that have a open, it's like this, but it's for propane. And, you know, you could have your own little bonfire. That's something maybe we could look into. I mean, if it's worst case scenario and we need to cook or we need to stay warm. Okay. Obviously, the cardboard, it's burning. But I'm wanting this wood to catch fire. So the neighbors are probably thinking, ooh, Jerry's probably out here barbecuing. <laughs> no, I'm just seeing if I can start a fire if we are out boondocking or if we were out camping. Yesterday, I called myself out here chopping wood. Woo. That didn't go so well. My back, <laughs> needless to say, was not... I'm not young like I used to be. For some reason, I thought maybe I can handle... I can handle chopping wood, but... That didn't seem to be the... I should probably... Just leave it alone. I should have never... My husband says, you're always adding wood. And the wood that I have right there 
hasn't even really got hot enough yet. Well, look who's here. The hubby has come to save the day. And maybe he can get this going. I got it right down on the thing so they won't see it. Well, I've got all the cardboard. Yes. But it's, it's, look, you can see it's just down here. I went through all my Do you want to try? Okay, the hubby's right next to me. He's going to see if he can do better than I can. Because I can't. I couldn't get it going. I couldn't even get it. I got one spark. Oh, it's supposed to be on that part? Mm -hmm. Not on this part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can speak. Stir Okay, do it right here. You see where the video is. They're not going to get your face. On your cotton balls and that will light it. Well, can you do that again to get this piece of wood on the top going? You can't start a fire with this. you got to set something on fire like kindling or your cotton balls. <laughs> That's the way you're supposed to do it. If you don't have this, you can use a knife. Maybe that's... Go like this. Okay, let me see if I can do it. See, that's meant to start kindling for your cotton balls. Well, some down there is burning. <laughs> All right, carry on, soldier. Can you bring me something? No. <laughs> what do you guys think? That out the way. It's like some of the cardboard, I can see it's like sparks. Okay, back to drinking. Okay, these are all trial and error type thing. Now obviously, like the hubby said, I need more kindling to get the fire going. I need more cotton balls. I need something other than these big, big pieces of wood. Because right now I'd have my family starving in cold. Okay, <laughs> maybe this video should be what not to do. Time for another drink.
wind wind's not helping in this video what not to do but you know what that's what's so good about trying something out that you never did before now normally when I start a fire I have a bonfire I have a newspaper or old pieces of wood or just you know like little pieces of um sticks that I can stack up in there and I probably could have did that a lot better well I think I'm going to go ahead and use the rest of this cardboard the tissue rolls. Right now, this is just for, <laughs> I guess, entertainment purposes. This is definitely a fail. This. I don't know if you can see, but there's like some smoke coming from over here and over there. Let's just, I guess, use the rest of these. Something's burning. Again, I think we hit the, like the 12 or 15 minute mark as far as keeping the fire going. That's not long enough to have if I needed to cook something. Alright. See that wind's not helping. We got a little something going. Again, we'll just put this down so nothing won't fly out. So that's one match. Back to another drink. I just want to hear the popping, the crackling of the wood. That is just so relaxing. Got this hat. Um, it's a Pitt, Pittsburgh axe with fiberglass handle. Got this yesterday. 20% off at Harbor Freight. Did pretty good yesterday. The hubby bought me a, not an axe, but a wood splitter. So, yeah, there's video on me chopping wood. 
but it just didn't go it just didn't go very well I think maybe the wood may be just too damp to get going. I was hoping that it it could go and get started, you know, the fire burning, but yeah. I wish I could chalk this up as a, hey, we could handle being outside, overnight camping, boondocking, but you have to take all these into consideration. When do you have enough fire starter for you, whether it be the toilet tissue, the lint from a dryer maybe, some old newspaper. Well, you could see that those three, those started. I got a little, little something, something going on right here. Well, you know what? I'm going to end this video right here. Thank you so much for coming. Cheers to you. I'll take my last drink. Again, I just wanted to see if I could start a fire. Could I keep me and my family warm? We didn't even get to the cooking part if I could have had it go long enough. So thank you so much, family. You are so awesome. Please put in the comments below. Tell me what I could have did different. I know there's a lot of things I could have did different. And as it smokes and hopefully maybe it'll burn out. Um, just let me know what I could have did different. Again, the reason why I did this is I wanted to see if I could even do it. With all the things that I collected over the last few months. And um, there's just more work to do. And I'll just keep trying. Because I'm not a quitter. And um, I love you family. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Pass this off to your friends and family and say, hey, Jerry tried and it didn't work out something I just need to work on. All right, you take care. 
We'll see you out on the open road. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.